welcome to our fifth virtual coffee, uh, the ones we didn't have or that we couldn't have during lockdown. Uh, making sense of 2020 is hard. Uh, big questions aren't easy. Uh, if there's no God, we live in a world of pitiless indifference. Uh, it's a scary place. Uh, in a previous episode, I wondered whether you'd uh, ever looked at the, the evidence for, for God, for yourself. I mentioned this, uh, John's Gospel. This is uh, in the Word one-to-one -one format. Uh, many in the UK and around the world are finding this uh, very helpful. But if there is a God, can we trust him? You know, the one that Christians like me uh, claim to know. Here's where the Bible starts on this. Uniquely of all the world's religions, Christians believe that God, the creator of the universe, uh, actually became man. He hasn't stayed distant. He, he's got personally involved. And when he came, he wasn't born into privilege, but into poverty, not, not born in a palace, but in a shed. And he knew suffering firsthand, uh, homelessness, ridicule, betrayal, injustice. Uh, the, the physical agony of suffocation by execution on a cross while everyone gawped as he hung there. Uh, the, the spiritual isolation of utter darkness and separation from God. We, we trust those who get what we're going through and Jesus gets life in this world. Uh, and so whatever we think of God, particularly this year, he knows what it is to suffer he took his own medicine, if I could put it that way. And whatever he is doing, it can't be because he doesn't love us. We know that because he sent his son to serve the people of this world and to die in their place. A man called Edward Shilito was a soldier in the First World War. He endured its horrors. And as he emerged into a changed world, he wrote a poem about Jesus. And this is the last verse. The other gods were strong, but thou wast weak. They rode, but thou didst stumble to a throne. But to our wounds, only God's wounds can speak. And not a God has wounds, but thou alone. God who we meet in the Bible has come near. The wounds of Jesus show that we can trust him. But we're not just looking for solidarity with our suffering, but solutions to it. And we'll come to that next time.